Yeah! Welcome, everybody, to a brand new episode of The Shallow Water Adventures with Keith and Jeffrey. I am Jeffrey. I'm Keith. I'm pretty sure. I think so. Um, today, we are a little off the cuff today. We uh, were abandoned. We're ba Yes, exactly. So, it is, we're really just flying solo. They've, yes. let, they've let us out and we're, uh, you know, we're running solo today. Uh, so it's just Keith and I. So you're on a tripod watching us. And uh, yeah, so we're just going to do kind of a short one. And so Keith it's, can't figure out how to turn the volume down. What on did his... you say? Two knobs? Two noobs. Uh, oh, noobs. Two noobs. Two noobs. Uh, yes. And we're going to talk about that in just a second. Yeah. Um, okay. Oh, you're here live. we go. Oh, I'm live. All right. We are oh, live. I got Frank. Hey, hey, Frank, what's going on? Yeah, he Coming thinks our to hats you are nice. From Provo, Utah, somewhere in the marsh. Yeah, we're on the Un marsh. Yeah, undisclosed Utah Lake. area. <laughs> somewhere in the cattails. Absolutely. Um, we're all bow fishing today. Well, we're bow shooting. Bow shooting today. <laughs> we've um, seen fish. We've actually seen some. We've we have taken, seen. I've taken three or four shots yes, already. We've we just have, been out here for a minute. Unfortunately, um, it's like every other bow fishing expedition. Yeah. We shoot yeah. a lot, and we don't bring much <laughs> in. But that's okay. We're not at the shop. Yeah, you know, uh, we're we're out and we're uh, we're we're testing. We're testing, testing product testing. Product testing. Yes, that's what we're doing. Got some um, Carl's Jr. little Gatorade, <laughs> some Trejo mix, <coughs> couple bows, couple of bows, and really some a strong desire to kill fish. And yes, that is what the we're doing. The desire is there. The desire is there. The flesh is willing. <laughs> the aim is really weak. <laughs> But hey, we're still having fun. We are having yes. a lot of fun. So while people are uh, joining us, Keith, how was your week? My week was, um, weekend was kind of, you know, not much going on. Not much going on. Not much going Sorry, on. We moved, uh, moved my mother-in-law into uh, assisted living place. She's happy. She's good. The wife's happy. We're all good. That was about it. That Getting was about ready it, to, huh? to repaint a room and a little... Oh yeah. Go from room to room and start doing a little remodeling. We've sure. been in the home for about 22 years now, so yeah, it's time so to do a little time paint. For, and... Time for an upgrade. Yes, uh, uh, definitely good. time for an upgrade. Yeah, sure. But that's okay. How about okay. you? Anything exciting? I did. I had some exciting stuff happen this this weekend. I, it feels like it was just yesterday, but it was two, three days. I mean, that, it's Wednesday already. Yes. But um, no, I uh, we had some birthdays in the family, so we had a big big birthday dinner on Sunday, and then. On Monday, we I, I did I did something I've never done before. We um, we got together, we had a little dinner, and then we played Settlers of Catan. What is that? You ever play anybody out there? If we have any Settlers of Catan fans, I had never played before. It's a board game. Oh, that counts me out. You don't play board no, games? I don't. I'm not much of a game player. Wow. And my kids and my wife will definitely. Uh, yeah. Stand up for that one. Well, anybody out there that knows Settlers of Catan knows that it is a very involved, complicated... That's um, exactly why I don't play. <laughs> <laughs> but it was a lot of fun. We had, a, we had a big old blast. We got the whole family there and everybody. You try and take over the land and if you win, everybody has to stand up and bow and shout, Hail to the Lord of Catan. Did you win? I did not win. I oh. got beat by my sister. What? I know. You were nice. You let your sister win. I Well, you know, it's the first time I've ever played, so there's a lot of strategy involved. Yes. But those of you who know. But that was... See, Peter Gibbons right here said this is a great game. See, I need People... a game called Squirrels. Because <laughs> everything but, just uh... takes off everywhere at any given time. <laughs> That's more of my speed. Squirrel. <laughs> Absolutely. But it was really fun. So we did that uh, for some for some birthday action. That sounds fun. It was a lot of fun. I'm glad you enjoyed that. Yes. So we had a good time. Um, all right. So today we're out bow fishing, everybody. And we've got a couple of new... We got some new stuff. We got some new stuff. We got some new toys. We got new toys. Um, so we're going to show those. We're going to brag about our new toys. I'm not sure if it's bragging. <laughs> It's more like any suggestions on how to work and control a foot pedal with all the knobs, bells, and whistles on your foot. Yes. So we have a new trolling motor. Yes, and we yes. That we have put on. I'm gonna I'm gonna pick up the camera okay. and bring it over. Yes. And you can demonstrate your sweet, oh, no, sweet I, I don't have trolling motor skills. I don't have skills. it in the water. Got it. But we'll, we'll talk about it. All right. Let's a, talk uh, about it. And everybody I don't even can remember know. what it is. Oh, it's a uh, Min Min Coda. Yeah, it's Min Coda. Edge seventy. This it's little a, thing is a little rocket when you uh, 
have it on high speed, but I kind of stay in on like two, two and a half, trying to figure out all of the controls, the the right, the left, the speed, the, yeah, it's uh Yeah, so how would you say your uh, <clears throat> skills are so far? I, I would say over the last 30 minutes, I've improved a little bit. Not much. It needs reverse, though. <laughs> <laughs> or I need to figure out how to make it go in reverse. Oh, but yeah, it's fun. It's it sure beats using a push pole. And because our uh, producer um, bailed on us and our uh, guide bailed on us, um, it's been a little bit rougher because we have to do everything now. Where before we've been pa we've been kind of pampered. Yeah, which has been nice. But uh, you know, a little bit more. Another hour on the. Uh, on the old Minn Kota and we'll have her dialed we'll, in. We'll have yeah. her dialed in. Yeah. I know it's going to be my I think turn it's, next. I think it's just your turn to drive next. And, uh, but we've seen some fish. We just have seen some fish. Haven't been lucky with we the arrow. Haven't been lucky, lucky very much yet. This boat really leans to the left. Well, that's because you're sitting on the left. Well, that and they're all the batteries for the... Uh, oh, this, yeah, uh, Our uh, trolling motor is at 24 volts. So we've got extra 24 volts um, in the front in... Uh, it's heavy, and then you got the big guy sitting on it. So, but I'm just kind of looking. I'm hoping a fish comes by. Got the bow kind of right behind me, but I don't think we're going to be that lucky. All right. Sun's kind of behind a big cloud, but uh, we're doing all right. Okay, I'm going to back this up so I can come and sit down too, because I don't want to stand here. But listen, I've got some comments coming comments? already, uh, mostly about settlers of Catan, because oh, that's, that's uh, okay. it's a hot topic. But J. Paul Jackson, uh, you know, for Team J. Paul, is watching, and he he says. Hey, old Jeffrey, Lord of Mud Buddy. Yes, oh. Jay Paul, that is exactly how it how it happens. That's exactly what it is. So yes, you are correct. Thank he's, you. His feelings are still hurt because he's behind on the fishing derby. You are you talking caught, about? Are you talking about him or are you talking about I'm me? I'm talking about Jay Paul. You oh. you've caught more fish than Jay Paul. No, that is true. Yeah, you and Ambry. And Ambry. And Ambry. Too. Sorry, wow, Jay Paul. That is rough. The camera's really leaning like way over. That's because it's comp it's compensating for the lean of the oh, boat. The lean of the boat. Yes. Um, I got Josh Hendricks on. I got Amanda Barnum. Hey, Amanda, my baby girl. Firstborn. Um, firstborn. Firstborn. Uh, Peter Gibbons Settlers is a great game. It's only as complicated as you make it. That's the joy of it. It is it is fun. That is true. Uh, Nathan Zimmer looks fun. I'm jealous. Um, you all really should be jealous. It is really nice out here. It it's is, a little it's, warm, maybe. It's warm, but at least the sun's behind the cloud oh, and it's yeah. not pounding. As I was a little. Uh, I was a little nervous about that. Yes. And I we I think Jeffrey and I learned, because you know, we're not used to using the boat during the summer, that the aluminum gets really hot. <laughs> oh, and it's hard yeah. to uh, touch anything with your bare hands. Yes, in fact, Jay Paul and I were just talking about this the other day, that this uh, the camo patterns are so great in the winter. Yes. But in the summer, man, it gets hot. It gets hot. hot Need to that. see if uh, we can get some up to fade Hydro like, a, like a hydro turf yes. or like a sea deck. Yes. Not here. Wouldn't that be awesome? Um, I got Thomas Harper on. Um, hey, Thomas. Good to see you. Thanks for watching. Uh, we got Bob Dreyer on. Hey, Bob. He's called us big babies. Who calls us big babies? It's Bob. Why? I don't know. Because we're whining about, you know, being out and it's hot and the bugs and everything else and we're <laughs> off work and, you know. Hey, we're, yeah, we're not your typical <laughs> full-blooded outdoorsmen. <laughs> You know, I mean, I grew up racing dirt bikes, quads, and that kind of stuff, mm -hmm. not uh, not hanging out in the marsh. And you live close to the marsh, and you didn't even know it was here. I don't know. How long have I lived in this county and never known that I never knew that you right could just here. jump across the freeway and hit the marsh? But that's okay. I drove up and down this freeway for a hundred years and never knew there was a marsh on the other side of it. That's awesome. Uh, James Stevens is on. He says. Uh, he says, first, he says that it's raining in Illinois. It's cold and rainy. Yeah. Sorry. I'm sorry, There's a James. Big fish just right behind us. Um, and then uh, he also says, um, are you waiting for your fish date because you're all dressed up? He's talking about me and my nice yes, collared your shirt. Your nice collared shirt. This is my uh, special fishing your shirt. Excel. It's, it's fishing. an Excel fishing shirt that I... I went with the old Mud Buddy one because I didn't want us to look like twinners, you, even though we matched the hats. You did. Somebody just... Uh, Frank Williams just said nice shirt. He commented on your shirt, oh. how nice it was. Hey, Frank, PM me. Give me your size and all your information, and I'll, I'll hook you up, man. Oh, very nice. Yeah, but you have to PM me because there's nobody back at the <laughs> shop going to help us out there's today. There's no link, and there's nobody watching. There's we're like no free. Link. We're, we're, uh... So just PM the show or me, Keith, 
Email me, Keith, at mudbuddy.com. Get me your address and your size and all that, and I'll, I'll be more than happy to hook you up with one of these. These are a dime a dozen. These are a little harder to get. These, yeah, these are not as, it's rare. As they're rare. They're not available. Not as rare available. as in non-existent other yes. than the one on my back. I have one. And the one in your drawer. Yes, it is. It's hanging in the closet. It's hanging in the closet. Hanging we'll in the closet. Um, but he says thank you. He will. He will yes. do that. Um, Joseph Tuss, any chance of a mud motor giveaway? We don't have anything planned right now. I don't, yeah. No, there's not. Um, we gave a lot of stuff away last year. We did. We gave several big packages away last year, and we won't do any more for, I think for this probably year's a pro while. Yeah. Um, but, you know, stay tuned. You never know what could happen. Yeah. There's always a prop giveaway. You know, mm -hmm. we, are, we like to we, give away we that do love to, We do love to give those away. Or maybe sometimes the prop of your choice. Oh, it's about five years ago. Also, keys have been... Bob Dreyer wants to know if, if you've been losing weight. If not, that shirt is doing the trick. Is you know that... what, Bob? I don't know. <laughs> On Saturday, my mother-in-law told me I was getting kind of tubby. So I, I don't know. Your mother-in-law is a real treat. She's a jewel. <laughs> if you don't believe me, ask Amanda. <laughs> a jewel. No, I like that word. She's That's a good. good woman. She just has the early onset of uh, dementia coming yes. on. So it just it just makes it hard for, for her and everybody around her. But. Okay. Uh, Josh Hendricks. Oh, I don't know if I can answer this, Josh. He says, just out of curiosity, what is the measurement from the top of the transom to the bottom of the boat? On ours? Um, probably 19 to 20 inches on yeah, ours. Ours is a tall transom. So it's somewhere between 19 and 21 inches is a tall transom boat. Mm -hmm. And a 16 to 18 is a short transom. Right. And, and we this, can this build it either tall. way. Yeah. Yeah. Ours is a tall. Right. Pretty much, Excel just builds tall transom motors. The old early edition stuff, pre-2010, um, 2011, you could get shorts of mm -hmm. occasionally. But since uh, Glenn Foreman's owned it, it's pretty much all talls now. All talls. Yeah. Right. Good, 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 good. All right. Uh, you guys are great. We try. We try. <laughs> oh, that's nice of you, Josh. Joshua Petty, that was really great. I appreciate you saying that. What do you say? Um, he says, you guys are great. Such great people and people who stand behind the products. They believe in. Thank you for all of your reviews, Q&As, and help. And God bless all of you. So, Joshua Petty, that's really nice. I yeah, appreciate thank that. Thank you. That's and really back awesome. at you. Um, oh, is that a big one? Oh, I just kind of saw the tail end of it. I don't know which oh, way you we went. We got to stand up and maybe maybe, maybe. miss some. Maybe miss we should get We should get our bows out and miss them. Um, tall transfer, yes. Uh, Big Blade showed up the other day. I got it on the boat. Can't wait to put it in the water. Well, don't wait. Get oh, it in the man. water, man. Absolutely. You know what? I think our next voyage, I'm going to put the hammer back on. We're running 44, 45 RPM. Really yeah. I so think I would be I all right. I want to put, put the Big Blade on. back on. Yeah, and do, some more, to put that. do some more trial and testing uh -huh. with it. With the hammer. With the hammer on the on the HDR 5000. 5000. Yeah, we finally hit 12 hours, I think. It's amazing. I know. It's only been a year. It's only been a year. <laughs> No, no big deal. No big deal. Um, awesome. Uh, Chris Cartwright, kill some fish, boys. We are honestly we are... doing our very best, which isn't saying very much. <laughs> That's not saying a whole lot. <laughs> uh, Peter Gibbs says some of us have jobs that don't take us to the marsh. I don't. I don't get it. I don't. Well, you know, Peter, it took ten years for means. me to get here working <laughs> at Mud Buddy, so it doesn't happen all the time. And in fact, it's only well, we we hit our end of our second year. In August? Yeah. Yeah, so we haven't been doing it that long. No, we've not been we doing this sure very long. Enjoy it. We really do. We're uh, we're very blessed to have this be able to yes. do this. So yes. and uh, yeah, and that's that's Mud Buddy is so great. We just absolutely love them. Um Cody Boko, crank that five thousand up and bounce it off the rev limiter. Wow. No. <laughs> oh we got Rick Hillicos is on. Hey Rick, how's it going? It's hey, good Ricky. to see you. Long time no see. Peter's just saying that he's jealous. I get it. I I totally understand. We try not to make people too jealous, but somebody's you know, got to do it. Somebody's got to do it. It's a hard job. Which we tried to get to Ian to come with us today, but you know, Ian's a shop manager, and it's it's hard for him he's to get away. He's got a lot of work to do. Plus, yes. he's really camera shy. So yes, anytime I got the camera out, he runs the other way. Yes, he, he he definitely is a little camera shy. We have a couple of them at the shop. 
Yeah, so, uh, Bob Dreyer sounds uh, sounds about like me with my 35 HD. I put on about 10 to 15 hours a weekend, and now that I got a new 40, trying to get past the break-in is killing me. I only have three hours on the new motor in two weeks. I know. It took us forever, I feel it like, did. to break it, it, in, man. Well, you know, when we were like running every time. in the marsh, we're only running 10 minutes out, 10 minutes back. Yeah. It, uh... Yeah, trying to get those hours was not not the easiest thing I we've hear done. another mud motor. Oh, there is another mud motor running around. Um, but that's uh, that's good though, Bob. Just you know, keep working at it. You know, perseverance. That's yeah. that's how we break in our motors. Very good. Little bit at a time, Bob. All right, I'm gonna have you hold this. I'm gonna talk about my next uh, my next toy that next I toy? I picked oh, yes. up yesterday. Um, my goal, my goal. That's not that's not true at all. But I I needed a bow. I've, I've yep. been using everybody else's bow. Yes. So I needed to get my own. But I also don't, I don't use it a lot. I, I'm unfamiliar. So I went with the flat, cheapest, inexpensive, inexpensive, not cheap, not inexpensive. cheap sorry, inexpensive Something setup. you can build upon. Yes, you setup that I could find. And I'll be honest, so far, I haven't minded it. It hasn't been bad at all. So let me show you what I got. And you may all laugh. And that is okay. Bob because Rasmussen said, I bet that Minn Kota prop won't tear up a uh, carp like a big blade will. Oh, not even a little bit. Oh, hey, I got to give a shout out to uh, my nephew, Michael Stacy. His okay. dad and I uh, grew up together, and he calls me Uncle Keith. Well, isn't yeah, that nice? Poor kid still lives in California, but I won't hold that against you him. You won't hold that against him. <laughs> no. No, I got me. Uh, I got me a little recurve here. Yes. A little recurve. This is a. Uh, Oh, I just lost that. Oh, it's a War Eagle. It's a PSE War Eagle. Don't say the word War Eagle, because some of you say you oh, think you're talking about a boat. No, I'm not talking about a boat ever. Did oh, you? man, I almost thought those went in the water. Oh, that would have been That would have been horrible. That would have been horrible. But it's a, my worry is that it, it's a drum reel. Yes. Which, you know, you don't see very often, and it's not very cool and all of that. But it actually has not been bad. I, uh, I just, you know, pull it back in as fast as I can. Because yep. luckily I don't hit anything, so, you know. Here, we, there. That's that's it. That's my new toy. I just bought this. I got it from I got it from Shields. J. Paul Jackson. Last night. All I'm gonna say is be careful. He's gonna call me what did he say? <laughs> I like it. No, that's it. That sounds about right. Casey Brady said good afternoon, gentlemen. Oh, Wish Casey. I could be out there shooting fish with you. I uh, know. Where is he? He hasn't shot any fish in a month. Oh, <laughs> we man. haven't shot any fish in over a month either. No. We come out, but we're not shooting anything. I know. We just don't get to shoot anything because. We're not great at it, yeah. um, but that's uh, that's kind of what's happening. So we got yeah, we got a new trolling motor, we got a new bow, we got some Carl's Jr. and pretty much could not be happier. No, we're just having fun, just having that, fun. That is it. Um, do we have? Do you need me to read the questions? Hey, uh, Nick Illumina, Illumilite. 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 Yeah. Custom duck boat blinds says hello. Hello, Nick. Well, How hello, are you doing? Nick. We're doing well. We are doing yes. well. We're doing really well. Not, I guess not in the actual catching. Bob fish, Dreyer's but. been looking at an AMS setup for bow fishing, but not oh, sure. Oh yeah, I was just I was just on their website earlier today. Oh. In fact, they are the ones who taught me how to tie the the arrow on the the knot and everything. And oh, I, I went to the AMS Googled website. It. Yeah, I googled that, and they have they have a whole bunch of videos. Yeah. But I know how to B do it. BPS they sells sells some bows. I can't remember Travis. Was it Oneida? I know Oneida. BPS sells some some uh, bow fishing stuff also. There's another uh, company that's a local Ogden company called RPM. Uh -huh. um, Josh Noble, uh, he's a local guy who has a lot of stuff that, right. on the website for his stuff. Sure. Yeah, my lens did fall out though. Oh my gosh. Oh well. Really good glasses you got. Hello there. from Southern Utah, Richard. Hello, hey, Richard. Hey, Richard. How's Central it going? Utah. Maybe not Central. It's, it's Southern. Kind of. Southern. Well, he is, is southern, it? but we're in. Oh no, we we're central? central. Call it central. Yeah. Especially when we're this far south. Uh, Jason says PSE. I'm assuming that might be a bow brand. That is. Oh. That's that's the brand of the bow. Oh, gotcha. It's a PSE. Mm -hmm. See, I'm really not hip on that kind of stuff. Well, you're about. I'm to just be. still. I'm still kind of fuming because my buddy Jay Paul <laughs> is getting my goat today. And, and Kathy. Or and I mean, and, and, and Keith. Keith. Yes. Well, that's okay. I know. Um, I know when Jeremy comes back, uh, he will take care of me and he will stand up for me, Jay Paul. And if I remember right, he's a lot bigger than you are. Where is? Where's your wife? Is, is Nancy watching? 
I don't know if Nancy. I haven't, I haven't seen, seen yet. I haven't uh, seen her jump on. I got to have lunch with Nancy Ma, the other yes. couple yesterday. days ago. Was that yesterday? Yeah, yesterday. Yes, it was awesome. It, she's she's kind of surprised had, us, huh? We had a good time. We really did. Monica Harris says hello from Bama. Monica Roll Tide. In, in Bama. Roll Tide. Yes. How's the weather in Bama? Bradley says Everybody hello from out a little bit? Memphis. Okay. Oh, Bradley, I miss Memphis. There is some amazing barbecue, and I know it's going to cause some grief from some of you other people, but the best barbecue that I've had has come from Memphis. I haven't been anywhere else but Utah, California, Idaho, but my two trips to Memphis, we ate some you, Memphis barbecue. You had best eating. Uh, my uh, nephew, Michael, says he's got to get back to fishing. The company is paying for it. And the fishing license. So he's on a company party. Oh. Yeah, he's a, he's one of those crazy guys. He climbs power poles for a living oh, for yeah. the, the power company. Wow. So, he, yeah, That's definitely. Uh, Casey James Brady. BPS Facebook Live next week for sure. Guys, they've got a big announcement coming out. It's all over the Internet. If you want to find out what they're going to be putting out, they're going to have the question and answer and everything that you're going to need to know about yes. what is so, happening. And that's about all we're going to say. More power. How, how am I not know about this? Next Wednesday? Next Wednesday at, at 2 o'clock Central. At 2 o'clock Central? Our two, yeah. We should go over there and, and be with them. We should go hang out. Well, I guess we'll have to talk to Glade. We'll see if they'll let Darryl us. Daryl says hello from Louisiana. Hello, Daryl. Daryl, Is it a little warm and humid there where you're at? <laughs> Just a little, I'm sure. Yes. So, but yeah, we, we're just kind of two dudes hanging out. No, no fish. We've got a guy running around in a mud motor. I can, I heard oh, him a couple you, times and saw him, him go by, by, but we're not quite sure who he is. So maybe we'll right, have to we'll track him down. Chase him down. Chase him see down. See what it is. See if we can be like, hey, outrun hey. him with our 50. See if we can throw a hat at him. <laughs> so wear this. Do we have any hats in here? <laughs> no, I think we they're do. all in the car. Oh, they're in the car? I gotta remember to put them in here. All right, if you come to the marina, the dock where we're at, we'll give you a free hat. Honestly, if we see you, chances are we're gonna throw a hat at you. Josh, yes, we are in Utah. Yes, Utah. We're on Utah Lake right now. Yes. Hey, Travis Madden. <laughs> I'm oh, not gonna say anything else. Travis. Yeah, Travis. How, how's everything going? You hanging in there? <laughs> Why are you laughing? You're gonna, are you, it's just, people it's are going to wonder why you're laughing. Uh, that's okay. They'll just have to keep wondering. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. All right. So, um, yeah. I mean, just mostly... <laughs> LOL's all Travis replied. Sure. He knew what I was talking he about. He knows. So, yeah. So, next week, some big news from Backwater Performance. Yes. Tune in. It will be very informational. And you will find out what it is and what? all of the skinny. What it is. Yes. <laughs> All right, everybody. We're gonna keep this one short because because I don't have anything else to say. Is there uh, more questions? Do we have any more questions? We really can't take your Garrett, questions if you got actual. We're farther south than Linden and American Fork. Yes. We're kind of like I can see the big old Y on the side of the mountain, kind of northeast a little bit of me. Yes. That'll give you a little more hint, but I'm yeah. not gonna say any more. Give you a little hint. Oh, Rick Hillicott said, support Michigan, Keith. They are made in Michigan, so it must be one of the bows that somebody was talking oh, about. Oh, the PSC? Yeah. It might be. I don't know. Well, that's awesome. Yep. I did that on purpose, if that's true. <laughs> he went for the <laughs> most inexpensive, but something that, Listen, a nice wanna, starter. Yes. You can add some stuff to because it. Because I've know, also got lots of nephews that are looking to get in. Like, you know, this is, this is just to te test out, see if I wanted this or if I wanted... A because uh, this is a recurve, so I didn't know if I wanted the recurve more than I wanted the uh, compound. But so far, I've really liked the only thing I've ever hit was with a recurve because oh. it's fast enough. Rick St. Oneida bows are Oneida, yes. Michigan. Okay, and Josh Joseph says Michigan for the win. <laughs> I'm coming for a hat if I get off in t on time. All right, okay, Garrett, if you get off on time, I'll tell you what. We'll leave one hanging on the fence post. Yeah, that's exactly what we should do. <laughs> we'll just whoever gets to the fence Wh post first, 
we'll uh, get po- a. post a picture on here yeah. so everybody can see, and then we'll and then we'll know that we were successful. Yes, with the hat. we got a hat out and mm-hmm. into the world. I like it. Another That's a good idea. Hat. You know what? I think. Um, what do you think? You don't think? I know. I don't think. I think we need to give one of these away. Okay, everybody like this Excel hat. These are really nice. I know. There's some. Oh, we got to get moving here pretty soon. Um, but um, the next is what, what? It, the, here's the thing. Here's why we don't give these ones away very much because they are XL, so they're they, yeah, they're what J Paul gives these away. These guys are. Who started? The thing? <laughs> it's the catcher. It's the catcher release. Those guys. If you want a hey, hat, you got to go watch our, that show. How many of our guys run XL boats? Mm. You're riding in an XL boat. I am riding in an XL boat. So what about? All right. Do you have somebody you really want no, to get No, no, I to? don't. How about we're going to go How about we go 2 more minutes? Okay. The first person who posts a picture with their Excel they can't oh. they can't post oh, they while can't we're post. live. Right. Dying it. Okay, forget that. But we could do Never it after. Mind. First people to post after we end. Well, it'll be too we, we won't get back to it until tomorrow. We'll do it next week. We'll there you We'll go. do it next week. We'll, next whoever week. throws a cool question at us next week. Yeah. Excel we'll, hat. We're going to do dude, these things are they're nice. They're cool. So yes. All right. Fair enough. We're gonna give oh, away. Oh, Bob Dreyer just ratted himself out. What did he say? He said, "I got an Excel hat, but I don't run an Excel boat." Bob, send it back. <laughs> Bob, I want that hat. Back. We want that hat back, Bob. We'll uh, we'll switch you for something. No, keep the hat, Bob. Whoops. No, keep the hat. Um, um, it, you know, just remind you of the proper boat. That you should be shooting for, you know, your yes. next boat. Your next boat, absolutely. Casey Brady says, "I drive past your shop every day, uh-huh. but I'm always working and can't stop." Casey, stop by, man. We'll oh. give you a quick little tour. We'll get you. Well, Casey's we'll come by before. I mean, oh, that's yeah, right. I remember, we met. Yeah, he's, he did. He's he been leave in. something at the shop that one time. Yeah, he lost his credit lost card. His credit card. <laughs> he didn't lose it, Jeff. That is not. That is wallet. not how. I bought a new boat. Definitely not with Casey Brady's lost credit card. Definitely was not the thing. Rick Hillicost said Jay Paul should give him a hat to change his mind about the flat brim. All right, listen. So, I don't know. Did you see? Did everybody catch? Um, did everybody catch catch a release yesterday? No, I didn't. So, Jay Paul thinks he's pretty awesome right now because he's got celebrity friends. Celebrity friends. He's got uh, yeah, Dexter Roberts joining oh, him. Oh yeah, he's, you know, the... he's the the super singer from um, The Voice. Which is really awesome. He's such a great guy, and so they did a little. Um, they did a little thing. They were also trying to work on. You know, when we had uh, we had Jeremy on with us, and we had the sound problems when they kind of joined um, just through. Right. Yes, I heard the sound. So they problems. had a, they had a little bit of that, a little bit of sound problems, but it still worked out really well. But Dexter Roberts, big flat brim wearer. Oh yeah, had Good. on that flat brim, and it was awesome. So you know. Team, team flat brim. Team flat brim. Uh, there was a question I was looking at. What was it? Okay, Jeff Mullinex says. Yeah, team Jeff. Looks like your hat have a right hand and left hand on the bill. Looks different. So that little sticker, Jeff, is you can just put it on either side. It's kind of help you to keep from getting the bill all greasy. me pick up. There goes a couple birds right there. Where's your gun? Yeah, we could have knocked those. No, we'd have missed them. Well, from here we would have missed them. No, we'll call them back around. Get your call out. It's the wrong season, Keith. Oh, I know. No, you're right. I moved my sticker. You yes. left yours on. So mine, yes. mine is right because I always pull my hat off with my right hand. So the little stickers are kind of keep the brim looking a little bit cleaner from yes. your grubby, greasy, well, grubby, grimy hands. Grubby hands. Yes. Eric. That is why I do it. I'm not gonna. Pr- Eric, team flat brim. Yeah. Robin. <laughs> oh, like Robin. It. Robin's a good friend of the show. Yeah. She's, uh... That's right. She's with our buddy Clint. Mm-hmm. So, hello, Robin. Maybe Robin would come out and bowfish with us. Yeah, she'd come out and bowfish She with would. Us. Clint won't because he'd have to be on TV and mm-hmm. Robin would do it. You, you would think that if he wasn't willing to be on camera that he'd at least help us out and be behind the yeah. camera. And there was a, a photo... I, I better not say it. There was a photo <laughs> pasted on, on Instagram with a guy holding a big, really, really big... Oh, carp? yeah, huge. I'm not carp. gonna mention his name, but Robin knows who it is. <laughs> I didn't mention it was any a names. it was a huge carp. Yeah. That's what Robin we're going says for today. Absolutely, she would come out with. Yeah, us. see, done. And, and, and Robin's a, she's a she's one of them. Oh. 
She oh, she would put us to shame. She bro. would put us to shame. She's, I will be. She's a avid bow hunter, yeah, rifle yeah. fisher, but you fisher know, woman, she, and all that stuff. She's she's, she's an outdoorsman, outdoors woman. Yes, she would yes. give us the pointers that we need yes. to actually succeed. Yes. Yeah. Good. So. All right. What else? Is that, is I think that about, that's about it? it, man? We're, all right, everybody. Thank you so much uh, for joining us today in the shallow water. We're gonna. Uh, try and get some fish. We're gonna we will take super, pictures and video because yeah. we want to. We want to prove that we can actually, <laughs> if we get anything. Um, and then uh, this area is so pretty. I love to film in here, so yes, I'm gonna probably is. shoot some some video as well. I'm gonna shoot. I'm gonna shoot at some fish. You're gonna shoot at some fish. I'm gonna throw arrows into the water a lot. And I'm gonna yes, we're gonna aerate the mud. <laughs> air, air, aerate air, the air, mud. That's team exactly aerating. what we're gonna do. That's what we are. We'll call ourselves. <laughs> Team Mary. Uh -huh, absolutely. And then uh, we will be back next week, um, probably our regular same time, but we may try and do something special if we can get over and join uh, those guys. So check BPS, that's Backwater Performance Systems, uh, to, uh, next Wednesday. Kenneth May's in trouble. What? He arched his flat brim. Oh, messed up. That's I want that hat back. Send, yes. send it back. You might yeah, as well just throw it in the trash now. So. All, All right. right, guys. Okay, thank you so much for watching. We will see you next week right here in the shallow water. Now I'm going to get up and show everybody. Week four 